Hello friends and followers, we are back with another edition of our One Day of Poker series. It's July 1st, 2014, and a young man stands in front of a mountain of cash in Las Vegas, stony-faced. His name is Daniel Coleman, and he is coerced into having his picture taken after winning $15.3 million. He refuses to smile or hold any of the bricks of cash in front of him. The young poker pro has just won the second edition of the Big One for One Drop, which is a $1 million charity tournament organised by Guy La Liberté, which raises money for the One Drop Foundation. He defeated 42 entrants to claim poker's second largest prize of all time, and defeated global star Daniel Negreanu heads up on his way to claiming the title. Negreanu needs a four or an ace, or Daniel Coleman is the One Drop champion. The river card is a seven! Good game, man. You're tough. I love the way you play. Daniel Coleman prevails and wins $15.3 million. Daniel Coleman's huge win and the subsequent storm that followed have not come from nowhere as he has been playing online poker for around seven years prior to winning the big one for One Drop. Coleman initially made a name for himself under the online pseudonym Mr. Green 13 where he became one of the most successful heads-up sit-and-go players ever to play online. While he did have a few early live tournaments where his results weren't spectacular, when he did find good form in the live arena, he did so in exceptional fashion, going on one of the most prolific runs of live success ever seen. It all started before the One Drop event when Coleman won the EPT Monte Carlo Super High Roller, netting over $2.1 million in the process. His eight-figure score at the One Drop tournament followed before an avalanche of six- and seven-figure scores saw his live career caches surge to over $26 million. The young pro is in many ways the polar opposite of the man he defeated heads up in the One Drop. Daniel Negreanu has dedicated himself to being an ambassador for poker throughout his career but Coleman's views on poker are paradoxically very negative. He later states that he sees poker as having a net detrimental effect on people's lives, and that the media portrayals of poker success are completely at odds with reality. The views and actions of Daniel Coleman in the wake of his victory were certainly controversial. Some viewed him as a hypocrite and questioned why he would even play poker if he felt that way, while others praised the fact that he expressed his views to the poker world and openly stood by them. Despite the storm of criticism which was certain to follow, by his own admission, Coleman is conflicted about poker. He was reported as having given no interviews after his one-drop win, but in fact he gave a short interview speaking solely about the charity, requesting that all questions were in relation to that rather than being about himself. Conflicted or hypocritical, Coleman still plays live poker, and still divides opinion two years later. Thanks for listening everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share and subscribe.